Hi there and welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to build a box plot with ggplot, but not any box plot. Our final box plot will have the ladders indicating significant differences among means, and the boxes will be colored according to the medium value. The higher the results, the darker will be the color. In summary, we are going to learn how to perform the analysis of variance and the case test, obtain the compact ladder display to indicate significant differences among means, build a box plot using ggplot, add the compact ladder display to the box plot, and customize the box plot colors. So let's start. We are going to use the results of a one-factor experiment conducted to measure and compare the effectiveness of various feed supplements on the growth rate of chickens. The data file is available in the R datasets library. We are going to start our analysis by loading the appropriate libraries, the datasets to assess the data files, the ggplot tool for the plots, the multicomp view for the compact ladder display, and the dplyr for building a table with the summarized data. Now the first step is to load the data file. We are going to use the str function to check it. The data file presents one column with the response variable weight and another column with the factor being studied, the feed. The file structure shows that we have 71 observations of two variables. The variable weight is a numeric variable and the variable feed is a factor. The next step is to perform the analysis of variance, mostly known as ANOVA, using the AOV function. The arguments are the response variable weight as a function of the explanatory variable, the fit. The result will be stored in an object called ANOVA. And to visualize it, we are going to use the summary function. The analysis of variance shows that the feed is significant. The next step is to perform the Tuckey's test. The function is the Tuckey HSD, and the argument is the object resulting from the analysis of variance that we have called ANOVA. We are going to store it in an object called Tuckey, and we are going to print it. The output of the Tuckey's test is a table with all pairwise comparison and the p-value for all of them. This data can be hard to interpret, and it is usual to use ladders to indicate significant differences among means. The use of ladders to indicate significant differences in pairwise comparisons is called compact ladder display and can simplify the visualization and the discussion of significant differences among means. We are going to use the multicomp ladders for function from the multicomp view package. The arguments are the result of the ANOVA table and the result of the Tuckey's test. We are going to store it in the CLD and we are going to print it. And here we can see the compact ladder display or ladders to indicate significant differences. Now we are going to build a table with the mean, the third quantile and the ladders for each treatment. The information on this table will be used to add the ladders indicating the significant differences to the box plot. As the compact ladder display is always generated with the means arranged in a decreasing order, we will also build the table with the means in a decreasing order. For each fit type, the table will have the information about the mean, the third quantile, 0 0.75, and will be arranged in a decreasing order. Let's run it. This next chunk of code extracts the compact ladder displayed and adds to the summarized table. Let's do it. Now we can see that the table TK has six rows, one for each fit type, and we have a column with the mean, 
a column with the third quantile and a column with the compact ladder display. And now we can start our box plot. We are going to use the function ggplot to build the box plot. The first argument is the data file, and the second argument is the aesthetics, the feed our x variable, and the weight our response variable. And we need to add the geom box plot to build the box plot. The final look of a specific ggplot object depends on the size and the aspect ratio. The plots shown in this tutorial were built for a figure size 4 inches width by 3 inches height, and I suggest saving the final plot as a PNG file with a 1000 dpi resolution, as shown in this code. Before running it, I will select my current folder as uh, working directory, so all the PNG files will be saved in here. Let's run the codes. And here we have our basic box plot. So let's customize it. We are going to customize the X and Y titles, and we are going to change the overall visualization of the plot. We are going to use the function labs to set the x and y labels. x is the fit type and y is the weight in grams. For the team, I have chosen the team BW. And to get rid of the grid lines as they are usually not used in scientific plots, I am using the panel grid major and panel grid minor functions equal to element blank. So let's run it. And here we have a cleaner plot. Let's finally add the compact ladder display to the plot using the John text function. The label is the column CLD in the TK file, and the position of the ladder is defined as the feed in the x axis and the third quantile as the y value. We can see that the ladders are located over the box plots. To relocate them a little bit higher and a little bit to the right, we are going to use the VJust and HJust arguments, and we are also going to decrease the font size. The result is a black and white box plot that is suitable to be used in scientific reports and presentations. However, to create a more attractive plot, we can add some colors. So in this next example, I will define the fill as light blue and the color as dark blue for the John box plot and John text functions. And here we have our colored box plot. Another very interesting alternative is to color the box plot not with the same color for all of them, but according to the medium value, meaning that the higher the median, the darker or lighter will be the color. To do it, we will define the fill as factor middle in the aesthetics. The argument middle returns the median value for the box plot, and the function to color it is the scale fill brewer, and I have chosen the sequential palette blues for this example. As a final detail, we are going to add the argument show legend equal false because we don't need legend for this plot. Let's run it and see what we get. And here we have our final plot. We can see that the higher the median, the darker is the color hue in the box plot. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. If yes, 
Don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I see you next time.